memories sliding into the past. But we're going to close today by throwing you in the other direction, far into the future of gaming. Come on. It was Super Mario 64 that first moved us into, into fully rendered game worlds. It was the Wii Remote that got us up off the couch and into a new world of game control. And today, as I mentioned at the outset, we're not just raising the bar, but we're making that bar extend far into the distance. 3D play on Nintendo 3DS is on the yes. way. Yes. Woo! At CES this year, we started hearing a lot about 3D in your living room. And of course, <laughs> initial, initial investment there is going to run into the thousands. And then there's the fact that nearly there's nothing to watch yet or play on big screen 3D. But maybe, most of all, it's the glasses. <laughs> oh, man, those glasses. And make no mistake, that kind of fashion forward statement doesn't come cheap. Don't be surprised to pay a hefty amount of money for those glasses, and that's for every person in the room. Nobody said it was going to be easy. Well, no one but Nintendo. In fact, we think there's a better way. A solution that lets you take 3D along with you wherever you go. With ample game content available the first day on the market. And maybe, Best of all, no glasses. Here on this part, 
we have installed a 3D depth slider to adjust the 3D effect. You can maximize it, or you can remove the 3D altogether, or you can choose any degree in between, simply by moving the slider. We have also given a lot of thought to the screen itself. Because Nintendo 3DS is a successor to Nintendo DS, it actually, it naturally comes with a touch pad. As we experimented, however, we realized that finger moves and other smart things reduce the 3D impact. And so did the decreased transparency of the touch screen itself. In other words, a touch screen and 3D screen do not get along very well. Because of this, we decided to employ a touch screen only on the bottom, just we did for Nintendo DS. And what makes the images so impactful is not just the 3D image, but the nature of the graphics. It been six years since we launched Nintendo DS. So while we now added 3D, we also made improvement to the graphics capability of this hardware itself. Something tells me this alone might cause a lot of enthusiasm in the development community. <laughs> Next, let's consider control. We installed what we call the slide app, designed for analog. We've also integrated both a motion sensor and a gyro sensor. I'm really hopeful that, just as with Nintendo DS and Wii, a number of new game ideas will be born to take advantage of these new control mechanisms. Of course, it has compatibility with Nintendo DSi. Nintendo 3DS has a camera too. But look here, there's not one, but two camera lenses on the outside. What this means is you can also take photos and view them in 3D. Damn. Damn. Woo. That's really, that's really good. that lets you take and enjoy 3D digital pictures. You may want to try out this function at our booth. And I want to mention one more aspect. Nintendo 3DS is also capable of displaying 3D Hollywood movies. We are not announcing any specific plans this week, but at our booth, you will find demonstrators showing you 3D movie trailers for releases from Disney, Warner Brothers, and DreamWorks. You can see DreamWorks, How yeah. to Train Your Dragon, Warner Brothers, Legend of the Guardians, and the Disney's Tango, all playing in 3D on Nintendo 3Ds. Wow. To our knowledge, this is the first time any such 3D content has been demonstrated without the need to wear glasses. However, in the end, gamers care most about games. 